So we've had a lot of time to paint our watercolor monsters. And now that your watercolor is nice and dry, you have a great opportunity to use this today. Our drawing pens. We've used them once this year. If you look at the original drawings from where the wild things are, you'll see the artist drew all these skinny black lines. They're all over the place. See how they go like in a crisscross pattern over here? They outline over here. So we have a good opportunity. Look at the leaves. The leaves have an outline around it and the stems are, stems are drawn in. So today, as we're working, we can start to draw right on top of our watercolor monster. One simple thing that everybody can do is this, I'm outlining. my monster and we when we first drew this we said we didn't want to put on a lot of um, details because of th this part now at the end of the process we're able to come in and draw with this skinny pen all the details that we were thinking of including so it starts to look really sharp when you start to outline and draw and design and put pattern back into inside of your monster. Um, so I'm gonna spend some time on this today. Redrawing the eyes. There we go, it's starting to come to life. <coughs> um, another thing that we, you can do, if you want your monster to have like a texture that looks like hair, you, know, you can kind of scratch and draw on hair and crisscross it back and forth like this. Remember when you're using this tool, be nice and gentle with it. I'm not pushing hard with this at all. You can create areas of shadow. So if I want it to look like there's a little bit of like a darker shadow on this side, I can go like this. And let those things cross back and forth. Um, one other tool that we'll get to use today is this tool here. This. It's not a regular pencil, this is a white pencil. The white pencil, if I use it out here, I'm not gonna see it, because this area is too light, Ben. But if I go down here to these mountains, see how dark they are down here? If I need to draw or add anything on something that's really dark, I can do it with this white pencil. Like right inside of my eye here, I got a little bit of paint inside the eye. If I want that to be white again, I can just use this pencil and kind of white it out. So two tools to use today, our nice drawing pen and the white pencil.